video we're going to assemble this here bench steel body um, you may have saw my unboxing tore this thing up as far as the quality of the components go um, you know the, the pieces are actually pretty nice right but welding is shoddy uh, there are definitely some issues with this which is going to make this uh, look, you know, not as good as it could look. Uh, maybe superficial. Will it, you know, will this bench serve you many years? Yes. Um, could have been manufactured better, welded better? Yes. Could components have been lined up better before they were welded? Yes. Uh, so the reality is this is made in China. You know, China sometimes puts out some real cheap shit. And I'm not saying that America doesn't either at times, but, uh, you know, I've got this for 109. It, uh, it should be relatively heavy duty, like it says. Um, I think that the cushioning of the bench will be really nice compared to uh, one of my benches. And so there we go. Now we got the hardware out, folks. Directions, uh, pretty basic, but at least they're on 3D CAD, right? So a lot of times, you know, these things are hand drawn. Um, but this is uh, this looks like good stuff here. All right, so we've got our our main frame component here. All right, and. We need to attach uh, one of the base, the feet, we'll call them, um, and an additional plate. And we need hardware, so we need a bolt. We need, uh, let's see, we need the bigger washer, and we need a lock nut. All right. So, You've got an M10 by two and three quarter. Uh, the washer is three quarter diameter. And then the nut itself is metric 10. So we are going to, I think, do the wheels first. Now, make sure you put the wheels facing the right direction, folks, because uh, yours truly has in the past put them in the wrong orientation. Base plate is going to go underneath. The carriage bolt, it's a carriage bolt, uh, underneath the head has a um, square uh, shape to it and that is going to fit through this plate. All right, so um, let's see if we can do this. Almost blind, somewhat blind. All right, so then the washer, and hopefully you guys can see this, and then your lock nut, if that is a lock nut. Now, they don't provide you a wrench. You're going to need to get your own wrench. We're going to put all the parts together, then we will tighten it down. Um, or, well, I say we're going to tighten it down. We're going to do... What are we going to do? Um, what are some of the key cats? You see a key cat? Key cat's coming up. He wants to say hello. He wants to sniff. Hi, bud. How you doing? Huh? Hi. Should we get him Pern? Anybody out there a cat lover? Oh, this cat is so... He's loving, but he's not um, too loving, we'll see. All right, Squish. Thanks for visiting. Now it is getting close to his dinner time. And so he gets even more uh, fun when he's hungry. All right, so like I said, we're gonna need a wrench. Um, yeah, they don't provide a wrench. You know, is that a big deal? No, let's go grab a, let's go grab a wrench.
box wrench preferably. Wake up everybody. Now, we may need a, uh, let's see if we can move this over a little bit. I don't know how good the camera angles are. I'll be surprised if they completely suck. But you get what you pay for on this channel, folks. And that's cheap ass equipment. Cheap. Um, okay. So I've got the five eights right here. And if these are metric, you know, obviously you should be able to find a metric equivalent. I don't have the charts memorized. So we not going to be able to give you that information but um this would be a great spot to just say okay yeah i tighten that down all the way so that plate is on the other side so that because the wall is thin and if you over tighten it you would buckle the wall of the leg or the foot and so um, that's why they've included that instead of using thicker tubing all around. Um, now, a commercial um, bench like this would probably have all this crap welded together. All right, there's your difference. So we'll tighten this down. Now I'm missing Miami, Miami Hurricanes right now. Hopefully they're beating Louisville. They're still beating them. they beat them until halftime. Just to give you guys a simple video. Now 109 for this. I'll have the link down below in case you decide that you would like to purchase this. I would appreciate it if you bought that. Plus a shit ton of more stuff through my link, which will hopefully make me a wealthy man. Because that's really what I need, folks, is to become wealthy. Alright. Now, if anybody actually is watching this video, these views, these videos get so few views. Um, you know, that's the way it goes though. Alright, so. I'm going to lift this up a little bit so that you guys can get a better angle. Um, now this thing, it looks like it's symmetrical, all right, if we're lucky it's symmetrical. And of course, you got to be you know, strong enough to hold on to this other thing. All right, so we got one in. Let's go get the other one. <sighs> so there are two camera angles. I'm not going to edit this together. There's not enough money to be made off this video to make it worth my time. Uh, there may be, you know, 10 other videos that have been done of this by now. So, potentially, um, I have bought, I've bought things and made a crap ton of money off of the videos. Oh, I said crap ton. Um, we have made more off monetization than item cost. That is a wonderful thing when that happens to me. Sometimes um, through the Amazon links I have gotten more uh, in gift cards from Amazon than the item cost. Um, just because so many people clicked on links. But you know for the most part it's it doesn't work out. Alright, that's on pretty tight. So I'll have to put the, the bench on, which means figuring out. Looks like the narrow part of the bench 
is towards the fatter where the wheels are, we'll say. So, you know, am I a little harsh on this bench? Eh, I think it's justified, right? They're, these guys are never going to come to me and say, hey, uh, review this item. They're never going to come to me and say, hey, take your take your video down. It's so harsh on us. We'll send you another one that's been, you know, manufactured better. Um, you know, the proof is in what you see here. Uh, this could look better than it does. Now, is it sharp looking, you know, from uh, the 10,000 foot level? Actually, it, I would say it looks pretty nice. Oh, that way. So, all right, here's the, the pad, the back or the cushion, whatever you want to refer to this as. It's, uh, it's nice looking. This is going to be super comfy, folks. Um, now, what's the easiest way to do this? Probably to rotate it, put it on its uh, side, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. And, you know, you don't want to have to be hunkered over. All right, so this is not going to work that great. Now, we need our washers, folks. Excuse me while I bend over. Hopefully, uh, if you are not bothered by that. Um, all right. So... We need to flip this around. Now there's tons of ways to do this. I just don't want to be bent over and um, have my back in a bad position. All right, so there is a retainer nut inside of this, I'll call it. Wow, you can almost hand tighten that. That went in there so flawlessly. Um, oddly enough, let's hope these other ones line up good. There's nothing worse than when shit don't line up, folks. Now the holes in the um, the frame or whatever are. Not necessarily um, small in comparison to bolt. That's why they, they give you this washer. They could probably give you a bigger washer. Um, Alright, so that one didn't like that. I'm going to put the one up top here. Not tighten it all the way down, but just to get it into position. Then we'll try and bring this over so you guys can see it. Um, and then my kid will come through while I'm making a video. You know, it never fails around here, people. You always got a family member that comes and screws up your videos. So, how's he going to get by, folks? Is he going to sneak under the couch? He's going to go around the couch. Is he going to knock something over on his way out? Um, I don't know. You ready to work out, son? What do you think of this bench, huh? Um, this looks way more comfy than the one you used to have it? to use. Well, it will be. Look at the padding on it. I, had to, I would bring that red one out or that crappy black one. They were really cheap pieces of, well, the red one came out, because that was commercial grade, but that black one was some serious junk. Uh, I should have sent that back. Wait, the, you thought the black one was junk? Yeah. It is. I mean, for me it is, because it's, it's meant for somebody that probably weighs about 120 pounds or less. Well, good thing I weigh more than that. Alright, uh, so... Now that we've got a couple of these on, folks, we're going to put this on the ground and hope to God we can get all these in. If we can't, this will be going back, right? You can't have a bench that's um, 
not sitting good. All right, so I don't want to tighten these down until we have all of our bolts in because it'll be much more difficult to line these up. Now, like I said, you will find this on multiple channels, or you'll find the two videos on two different channels. Um, one might be monetized, so you might get commercials. The other might not be monetized. Either way, watch the watch the commercials. <laughs> All right, so. Is where you wish you had a power drill. Um, and so I'm just doing that to get it almost to the point where I only have to do this once or twice. All right, that's pretty tight. So we are just tightening these down. Um, six of them, right? So I just noticed there's a tear in the underside of this thing uh, to further my excitement about the quality of that. Um, that eventually will probably rip off, who knows. Now uh, sitting on carpet, you know, this will probably sit nice and flat, sitting on concrete. It might not. Um, and I ought to tape this Allen wrench to this underside of this because you never know. All right. So um, we uh, would bench from this side, and yeah, it is definitely higher. So. Um, getting leg drive might be a little harder. It's probably better for somebody a little taller than me. Ugh. But there is the bench assembled. Check out my unboxing video if you want to see all the places where the manufacturing uh, kind of sucks on it. Now, um, that said, you have to hold it up uh, about this height if you don't want it to, you well, know, 35, 45 degrees. Um, and I think, you know, I think I'll be happy with it, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. So, camera.